it's well reported that there's a major vulnerability to Windows when you allow users local admin rights. And hackers can take advantage and exploit this so they can gain access to your desktop. That's where LAPS or Local Administrator Password Solution comes in. And in April 2023, Microsoft updated the feature so you can now control and manage this from Microsoft Intune. It allows your IT admins to control and store your passwords within Azure AD and in turn looks to improve your security posture. So in this video, I'm going to look to set this up and deploy it in just under five minutes. So let's give it a go. So we're going to start off in the Microsoft Azure portal, log on as an admin or global admin, go into Microsoft Entra ID, look at devices, and then we're going to go into device settings. And in here, we're going to see an option for, if you scroll down the page, you're going to see the local administrator settings. By default, this will be set to no. So switch that on to yes, then hit the save at the top. Then we're going to switch into the Microsoft Intune admin center here. We're going to go into endpoint security. Then we choose account protection. And you can see I've already got a policy in here, but I'll start a new one. We'll select the platform as Windows 10 and later. Then we'll select the local admin password solution as you'd expect. Hit the create, give it a name, add a description if you want to, hit the next. And at this point, we can configure the details of our policy. So it's worth highlighting that Windows Laps is available for Windows 10, 11, Server 29 and 22. And this works for both Entra ID and hybrid join machines. So our first option is backup directory. And in here, you've got a number of options. You've got disable, which basically you're not backing up at all. You've got password for Azure AD only, and you've got password for Active Direct only possible in a hybrid scenario. So I'm gonna pick back up the password to Azure AD only because they're the machines I'm using. And it opens up the password age days. Now by default it's 30, but take note there is a minimum password age depending on whether you're hybrid or whether you're Azure AD only. So next up we've got administrator account name. Now take note with this, if you don't configure it, it will use the default built-in local administrator account. But this is a new feature that effectively allows you to add a name in. So if I were to configure this, I can actually add the name of the account. The account does need to exist and it does need to exist in the admin group. But I'm gonna set mine back to not configured. So we move on to password complexity. So here you've got four options. Obviously it's more complex effectively depending on the option. And option four is what it defaults to if you don't configure it. So onto password length, pretty self-explanatory. Basically what you need to know there is there's a minimum of eight, a maximum of 64 characters, and by default, if not configured, it's 14. Okay, last two settings here. Then we got post authentication actions. This basically gives you an idea for what will happen after the expiration of the account that you set. So you've got reset password, reset password and log off, reset password and reboot. Now, if you don't configure this, it will reset the password and log off the managed account. Onto our last option here, and this is post authentication reset delay, or effectively as referred in the last setting is the grace period. Now, if I can configure this, it basically, the default is 24, but you've got an option between naught and 24 hours. If you set it to zero, then that would disable the post authentication actions. And take note, for Active Directory, the minimum is one hour. So from here, I hit the next. Then I add my scope tags if you want to. I can assign it to my devices, my device groups. It will go through to review and create. And at that point, it will go ahead and create the policy. Now, I'm not going to do that because I've already got one. And now I'm going to show you that this is working on a Windows 11 device. So I'm going to come out of this and go into endpoint security. Cancel that. I'm going to go into account protection where we were before. I can select the in my policy that I created. And there you see I've got some successful deployments. So if I select my device here, we can have a look at the settings. And there you see they've been successfully deployed. Now, if I go onto my actual device within devices, and then I pick Windows, I can pick my specific device, which is this one here. And there are a couple of things I wanna show. Firstly, you've got this local admin password option down here. If I select that from an admin perspective, this is where I would go and I can select the policy 
and at that point I can see what the password is so I can select this show and basically that's the password that the IT admin will use or you could give to your end user if you need to you can hit the clipboard copy to clipboard there if you so please so I'm going to close that down and basically I'm going to go back to the overall options for the device so at the top here this is where you will see all the administrative options that you can take on that specific device but if I click the three dots at the end there's an option for rotate local admin password if I click that it's going to basically tell you that if you do want to rotate it you'll lose the old password used on the device also a single password will be generated to the identity provider so that's either ad or azure ad depending on what you've used so thanks very much by my estimations that was bang on five minutes so not too bad now if you are looking to migrate from legacy apps to windows apps using intune microsoft have produced some guidance on this and i'll include that in the description so thanks very much please subscribe and like and hopefully see you again